girl Ice Geneva and I am back with another video and in today's video I am doing a reaction video yeah we're gonna be reacting to do you use the n-word Africans and African Americans truth or drink and the video is by cut and personally yeah. I don't use the n-word I don't even curse if I'm being honest but will that change maybe but for now I don't curse so yeah I'm a child of God so we're gonna get into this video oh my god my <laughs> this is so me. too please don't mind my hair I'm in the midst of like you know a life crisis right now but like no I'm taking my hair out and stuff so yeah just don't mind my hair but yeah let's just get into the video what does the n-word mean to you I hate that word but have I used it with the a sound before yeah with my close friends I don't like, <laughs> I don't like what happened in say it. I'm sorry, what? Did he just say you don't like when Africans say the N-word? Sir, out of anybody else, it's, it's the Africans. Okay. Hi. What's up? I'm Kaisida. I'm Abdul. I'm Khalif. I'm Jordan. Uh, we're doing uh, Africans versus African Americans, truth and drink. It's not really versus, but well, it's just. I don't know. And. Black girl, African gentleman. I'm hella African. <laughs> I'm black. <laughs> First generation. Both of my parents were born and raised in Nigeria. Um, my tribe is Igbo. I stand on that. Period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my tribe is Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I stand on that. <laughs> you want to start with the shot? Yeah, sure. I like you to see. How you gonna take my shot glass? I was pouring you a shot. You know I'm a gentleman. <laughs> to be black. To be black. Y'all, yeah. I have cramps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did I get started off spicy? Um, who do you think gets laid more, uh, Africans or African Americans? Africans, to be honest. Um. What am I listening to? Like, what kind of questions are these? Like who gets laid more like that's what y'all really concerned about okay because snow bunnies are there so <laughs> therefore they yeah. want a taste of everything right yeah, yeah like so, cultural sampling yeah, yeah what is a snow bunny <laughs> yeah you gotta clarify that one uh a white girl that likes african americans or africans or just black, black people in general I mean, honestly, I feel as though Africans have to get the gap. I feel like they really want it, they're gonna get it. So I would say Africans get laid more. Okay. Yeah. You agree? I'm not answering this question. No, I live in an apartment that is predominantly Africans um, and African Americans. And most of the African people I see walking around has a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they got here somehow. So yes. there might be a lot of different types of American women who might judge African men mm -hmm. and might would, would not want to sleep with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say probably black men. Black men? They'd be out here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like African men be presented as more got it together to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Nigerians, like, especially. Yeah, shoulders up. You feel me? Yeah. Chin up. Yeah. Like, they walk around with confidence. <laughs> exactly. How do you feel about the term African American? It just feels a little confusing uh, simply because to me, the African American culture and the African culture does not have camaraderie like I feel like we should. And I always feel like I, don't I personally that don't like the term colored people, kind of. But African Americans, I'm okay with it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not going to hold you. I don't like when some people say it. When, like, the super allies like, say it? Yeah. African Americans? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> for like black people in America. Like we are as American as it gets because we've been here for better or for worse yeah. since the creation of the country versus like when you say like African-Americans, it kind of denotes like a generation ago, this generation, two generations ago, they're from a different country. But it's mm -hmm. like, no, we've been here longer than like half the white people been here. Take a shot if you have ever used the term African booty scratcher. Uh, no, I don't think I used that term. I've heard it before. But I don't think I ever said, oh my gosh, you're an African booty scratcher. Like, I don't, that does not look cute coming out of my mouth. So, I don't say that. Uh, absolutely not. I 
was called that. Me I was too. definitely like like African beauty, African booty scratcher. People used to call me Midnight. I got called Midnight too. Oh, Dark Vader. Yeah, me too. And I'm on Star call Wars. Me, I no. Mm -mm. You don't like Star Wars? I would Wars? never watch it because of that. Darth Vader, Darth Vader, Darth Vader. Okay, so wait, what's Darth his name? Vader, his name is Darth, D-A-R-T-H, but people would call I'm him Darth I'm Vader. I'm sure so. black people did, does not know his name is D-A-R-T-H. They knew enough to call me that. They called me D-A-R-K, Darth Vader. Oh, maybe it was a combination of both. I know they called me that, though. I, I know what they were saying. it was a play on words. Yeah, probably. I just think black people didn't know. To be honest. No, the black people, I mean, I don't know. My elementary school, they knew. I think they knew. They knew. I don't think they knew. What does the N-word mean to you? Do you think you take offense to it as much as African Americans do? Depending on the context. I've seen people consciously. Yeah, I agree. It depends on the context and I guess the person who's saying it. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't really like being called the B-word. So being called the N-word, I don't... I mean, unless you're my friend and we cool, you could call me the B word. But like, yeah. Do not say it around people that may be threatening or like, oh, that's a real black person versus like, oh, Abdul, he's a fucking the they engineer. Think you're Abdul. Like the yeah, cool I'll sing along with this song. Like, oh, Abdul said it was cool with me. That shit pisses me. Yes. I hate that word, but have I used it with the A sound before? Yeah, with my close friends. Uh, can I? Like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like when Africans say it. I'm sorry, what? I don't like when Africans say the N-word. With the, just any, any type of way? We're different. I do hear you and understand you, right? Every... I have oh a challenge for all of goodness. you. Go to every no, computer in your house. No, no. Is that commercial? Oh, there we go. Stalled. What's honey? No. Oops, oh my gosh. African, okay. I promise you. Every African that says the N word, I tell them, do your parents say it? And they all be like, hell no. And I'm like, so my why did you? Would never. My parents say it, my grandparents say it, and their grandparents say it. None of, no African parents, grandparents say it. Yeah, I will say mine would never. Saying? Yeah. So we gotta work hard to keep. My parents say it. My dad is Jamaican, and my mom is a black American. So, um, yeah, they say it. But I don't say it. People around me say it though. I'll be back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm back. I have to go to the bathroom. My stomach is killing me, but we're gonna finish this video. Yeah. Wait up. It's like, it's like it's like y'all picking it up because it sounds fun. I'm actually I'm, I'm glad that you shared that with me because I never heard someone have an issue with African people saying that word. <laughs> Ooh, twin shit sound right? This shot. Talk your shit, twin. Uh name ten African countries in thirty seconds or take a shot. Ooh, 30 seconds. 10 African countries. I know Ghana, Uganda. Okay, I'm slow. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut that out. You got 30 seconds to try. That's not a lot of time, actually, mm -hmm. for someone who's had to kill. So the difference of countries and cities. We'll find out. Morocco, Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, Is Zimbabwe one? Ethiopia, Ghana, Nigeria. Niger, Chad. Somalian, um, Nigeria. Kenya, Gambia, uh, Somalia. <laughs> halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. No, it was 10 or 5. It's 10. ten. Damn, you're crazy. How about that guy? Uh, 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 Nigeria. Um, West Africa. <laughs> that's, a, that's a region. It's okay. Go ahead and take the shot. It's fine. <laughs> Zimbabwe, um, She's smart.
preferring to work with Africans mm -hmm. because we really are a lot more submissive in a way. I think they hate black people more than African people. They hate the descendants of slaves. Mm -hmm. The model minority myth exists heavily in the African community to where like, they've been brainwashed to think that black is bad, everything else is good. They're the good ones. They're, this is what you should be as a minority. Go to school, be polite, all respectability politics. Everybody black, it doesn't matter. Anybody who's perceived as black, they just see us as black people in threat. And the more chocolate you are, the more issues you're gonna have, honestly. Yeah, they don't, don't agree. I don't think they can, really. Okay, do, do tell. I feel like if me and another dude is standing side by side, and we get approached by the police. I think that if he has an accent, it's gonna make him less dangerous. The police? Yes. Maybe I missed the question. I just thought you... Oh, you're right. Well, white people, I think of... All okay. I think of all white people as police. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <I'm... laughs> They are, okay? okay they be, I that... mean, you know, white people police black people, like, they, they, for no yeah. reason. Take a shot if you've ever said Wakanda forever. Have I? I probably, wait, I definitely have at some point. I've seen like, it when I watched the Wakanda movie. Like, at, so, at some point, yes. I might take a shot with you. To Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> Oh, when the first movie came out, it hurt it so bad. She legit asked me after the movie. Oh, God. She said, Are you from Wakanda? <laughs> like, okay. What is wrong with people? Like, are you serious right now? Like, um, in what ways are Africans misunderstood? I think we're misunderstood, maybe kind of on the topic of like my home country, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Ethiopia and having war in Tukai. Mm -hmm. When I told my coworker, there's war that just started. He's like, oh, but doesn't that happen all the time? That was his response. Someone I respected and I enjoyed working with him, brushed it off. Yeah. I'm, I'm fully convinced that like some white people I've met still think like most of Africa is just like dirt huts. Yeah, like um, living like, in huts, yeah. not having water, yeah. not really having food. There's 54 different countries in Africa. It is unfair to just lump all of Africa into one to like, oh, you said you're from Africa? I have a friend from Nigeria. Like, people aren't interested in the difference. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Good. I'm interested in any I know. I don't like that. Oh, warm and fuzzy. Oh. All that. There are some things we agree to disagree on. Got you know, but here. I mean, finding that common ground and we both were called African booty scratchers, that was deep, you know? And dark rated. I'm still not yeah, over that. Like, crazy. who? And chocolate. And their right mind would call you an African booty scratcher in your face because if it was me, I know I'm nice and all, but no, you're not going to get away with calling me an African booty scratcher and embarrass me like that and degrade me and stuff. No. No. But yeah, that was it. That was all. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm about to make me some tea because I am in pain. But I love you guys. Bye.